is KOB4 Nightbeat. And good evening, New Mexico. The holiday cheer has worn off for thousands of airline passengers stuck in scheduling disasters across the country. Many of these people in Dallas stand a better chance of hitchhiking with Santa than having their flight take off on time at this point tonight. And it all started with that massive winter storm last week. And while the weather has cleared up for much of the country, like a scene in Phoenix, airlines are struggling to now get back up and running. Bags are piling up faster than leftover wrapping paper at this point. And Southwest Airlines says it can't get anyone out of Phoenix in particular for the next four days. And we're even feeling the effects here at KOB4 with several of our co-workers stranded in this holiday travel mess. Sports anchor Brandon Ortega is off tonight, kind of. He still had to report on his headache of trying to find a flight home from California. I was on the phone for a, over two hours with Southwest on hold yesterday and then my phone died. <laughs> Classic Brandon, and he wasn't the only one with a bone to pick with that airline tonight. Brandon Wilson was at the Sunport earlier. Luckily, not having to wait in line for a new Southwest flight. Just watching that line get longer and longer, Brianna. Yeah, that's right, Julie. So if you were anywhere else in the airport, arrivals, baggage claim, other airline kiosks, there were hardly any lines uh, when we were there just a few hours ago. But that was not the case for Southwest. We found dozens waiting, some who said that they'd been there in line for at least three hours just to get answers because all of their flights had been canceled. I'm feeling really sad and I've really wanted to go to Disney World because it's been my dream ever since I was very little. Unfortunately, that dream trip, also a Christmas present, will have to wait. It was going to be her first time um, and, you know, just a Christmas gift. Um, so it's been really hectic and pretty disappointing. Cindy Moreno says this is not the first time her family has been disappointed this weekend. They've been trying to get to Orlando since Christmas Eve. Our original fight was on the 24th and that got canceled. So this was technically our rebooking for today and it got canceled again. So it's just been one disappointment after another. Since their Disney tickets are for tomorrow, Moreno says her family is running out of time and options. Southwest saying the next available flight out of the Sunport isn't until New Year's Eve. So we're just thinking about renting a vehicle and um, driving for 20 hours. Fredolin Vigil, who was trying to fly Southwest to Boston, was told the same thing. And I couldn't get a flight with them until New Year's Eve. It was scheduled for today, but they rescheduled twice and then finally canceled. No one we talked to was given a clear explanation for why their flight was canceled. What did they tell you when you got up to the front desk? Um, that they were having operational issues and that they couldn't reschedule. They didn't give us a reason why, but the rumor is that it's just staffing issues. Um, there's not enough uh, like crew members to crew the planes. Well, nobody sent me a text or an email, so I tried calling and I was on the phone for an hour and a half before I gave up. Um, so then I thought I would come to the airport to um, see for myself what was happening and to see if maybe it was a mistake. Despite the widespread disappointment, Stephen Gallegos managed to find a silver lining. People are talking in line, telling jokes, making um, stories up about um, what's happening with the airlines. Nobody really knows, and we're all just hoping to get back to our loved ones and to uh, get home safely on the next flight that we are able to get on. Now, Stephen, who you just heard from, told us that he looked into booking a new flight with a different airline, but prices started at $1,500. Then another woman told that she told us that she booked a new flight for $2,000 that doesn't even leave until Wednesday. So a lot of people desperate to get to their destinations, and this issue is not exclusive to New Mexico. Now, earlier tonight, the U.S. Transportation Department responded to the travel mess on Twitter, saying USDOT is concerned by Southwest's unacceptable rate of cancellations and delays and reports of lack of prompt customer service, the department will examine whether cancellations were controllable and if Southwest is complying with its customer service plan. Now, a reporter with our affiliate station in Phoenix tweeted this video of the line at the Sky Harbor this afternoon, saying staffing issues led to 90% of Southwest flight cancellations there, 
And this was the baggage claim at the Denver airport. A reporter there saying 376 flights were canceled and the line to rebook was more than three hours long. Now an NBC Bay Area reporter shared this video of hundreds in line in the San Francisco International Airport. Other stations reported that Southwest employees were passing out snacks and water to stranded passengers there. And then finally, this was the scene in Baltimore early this morning before the sun came up. More than 100 Southwest flights were canceled there before 4 a.m. Now we'll continue to keep a close eye on how this is affecting travelers right here in New Mexico. Julie? A lot of people affected, that's for sure, Brianna. Thank you. And many are wondering just how big of a role weather is still going to play in airline delays in coming days. Meteorologist Brandon Brandon Richards is here with that part of the story. So Brandon, we see the map behind you. How do you make sense of all of those colors we see in different cities? Right, so the way that we can see this, now you see a lot of this activity here on the West Coast is causing the moderate delays. This is weather related why the delays here on the West Coast have moderate impacts. As well as Denver, they're dealing with higher winds which causes turbulence that can cause delays there. But for the East Coast where we have major delays from New York, Washington, Chicago, Atlanta, Miami, in Houston, a lot of this is called the domino effect. More than likely what happened is one delay led to another to another, and that's what happened with those major delays. It also counts for cancellations, so some of those cancellations from Southwest might be affecting that. But at least here in Albuquerque, the, the weather is at least cooperating with us. 35 degrees is the current air temperature east wind around 7 miles per hour makes it feel like the 20s. Right now we just have some cloud cover across the state, but looking at the nation, they'll have a little system here in the southeast, but not affecting much in the way of traffic. It's the West Coast that we're having to watch. This is the system that will begin to move in toward our Wednesday. And this is a series of systems, just the first one of many to come. So I'll share that in my full forecast, Julie. All right, Brandon, thank you. And we'll be staying on top of the latest updates from the Sunport and beyond, along with the latest weather related delays that might affect your holiday travels. You can download the KOB app or visit our website at KOB.com.